Hey guys! So, that was a disgusting intro. Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I just want to say beforehand, this is not a top 10 list or anything. This is just a list of games I'm excited for from E3 of 2017. I was going to do this video last year of last year's E3, which was absolutely amazing. And this year's E3 was a little bit meh. I mean, I don't see very many games that I would like and I would buy, but I picked like a 7 or something like that out and I just, you know, just went over them. So, if you guys want more videos like this, me just talking about games and stuff like that, then uh, just tell me in the comments, and I will happily do that, because I like making commentaries. But anyway, let's get into it. A Way Out. A Way Out is a new IP from Hazel Light Studios and EA about two main characters named Leo and Vincent. At first, they're in prison, and they want to bust out, so they bust out together, and then outside of prison, they get into a whole bunch of shenanigans that I cannot wait to experience with a friend. A big reason on why this is so promising and so interesting to me is because it's made by the same people that made the game Brothers Tale of Two Sons, which was an Xbox exclusive, and I never personally played it, but I know it had a very good story and a lot of character development, even when the characters didn't have voices themselves. So, I mean, that clearly shows when the character does have voices, you can connect to them easily, and the story is going to be very fantastic. The difference between Brothers and A Way Out is Brothers, you control two characters on one controller, meaning one side of the controller was the brother, and another side of the controller was another brother. So, A Way Out is completely different now, because it's actually using two controllers, but the screen is still split screen no matter what, even if you're online or you're doing couch co-op. So one side of the screen can have a cutscene going on, and another side of the screen could be going doing something else, like a, you know, talking to a person or something. It's really interesting, really cool concept, and I will be trying it. Breakdown 3! The first video ever on my channel, which is still up today, was Crackdown 1, mostly because it was a free game on Xbox 360, and I really liked it at the time. Now I think it's terrible, but knowing that information now, I imagine that you know that I like the Crackdown series, so I'm very excited for Crackdown 3. It's been in development for like, I don't know, 9 years now? So, I'm fully ready for this Xbox exclusive to come to light, because I'm ready to hop off some building with my friends and then just... Just, just fucking demolish it in the process. Destiny 2! Shut the fuck up. Say what you want about the first Destiny, but I oddly liked it. It was a different experience from any other shooter I played. What about Halo, you Xbox shit fuck? In my opinion, Destiny was a great experience. But after a while, you'd start to notice you were doing the same thing over and over again and then it started to cost 60 more dollars for the DLC. Other than that, the level design, the gear system, the social places, and the overall missions were awesome. I really love Destiny, I will never forget what I did in it. But I'm guessing with the whole new Destiny 2, everything will be improved, time like a thousand, everything's gonna be great. Detroit become human! From the creative director, David Cage, the creator of two little amazing games called Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls comes another story called Detroit Become Human. This game is set somewhere in the future where androids are servicing people and they're tired of it dude. They're literally just tired of just being manhandled and pushed around. They want a, they want a revolution. They're, they're tired of it all. I'm tired of it all! I'm tired! And then they just all start to just destroy everything, mess everything up, spray paint the walls with digital stuff. It's insane. Alright, in all seriousness, most people don't like these games because it's one of those games where you make decisions and choices. For instance, you can compare this game to a Telltale game or uh, Life is Strange. Like I said, David Cage games are insanely awesome. I expect this one to be like 10 times greater than any other game he's ever made because it just has... A it already seems like it just has a lot more choices and there's no illusion of choice. David Cage games just have that certain flair that gives them that unforgettable experience that I love in games, of course. I cannot wait on this 2017 drop. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's 2017 or early 2018. 
State of Decay 2. State of Decay is a third person zombie survival horror game where you're the leader of a big old group of how many you want. They're trying to survive just like you. Now State of Decay 2 is also a third person zombie survival horror game where you're the leader of a group just trying to survive like you. But this time, it's multiplayer, which makes any game 100% better in my opinion. I mean the first one was great, come on, but adding multiplayer? You just made that game 100 times better. Oh, by the way, yet again, it's an Xbox exclusive. Keep up, PlayStation. Star Trek. Alright, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, but I really do understand the appeal behind it. It has a big universe of just all different types of worlds and all this type of lore, but I'm just personally not a big fan of it. Apparently, Battlefront 1 was a huge disappointment to a lot of people who played the original Battlefronts or the original Star Wars games from PlayStation 2 and PC and etc. But I sort of thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, it was really cool flying around ships and being, you know, stormtroopers and not having any good aim. See, I, I, I know a few jokes, I know a few jokes. But now they're gonna double the fun that I had and go back to the older style, which means classes, um, Star Wars, everything, just everything. And it's really cool. And I hope oh, this game really makes up for the last game because a lot of people hated on that game. They even announced it at the press conference that they didn't get a lot of nice stuff said to them. Two years ago, we launched Star Wars Battlefront and we got a lot of feedback. A lot of it positive and a bunch of it constructive. That's a euphemism for not as positive. So today we're- My favorite game of all time is the new DLC coming out and I'm excited for it. Whoa! I know a lot of you are probably very, very disappointed by the last choice on this list. Now, like I said, Life is Strange is my favorite game of all time. Shut up, phone. Like I said, Life is Strange is my favorite game of all time. So, I mean, of course, I'd be very hyped for the DLC that's coming out for the original game. The only bad thing I could see about this is they don't have the original voice actor for Chloe Price, Ashley Birch, my favorite female voice actor of all time. But I could still get down with the setting and the feel of the game and just the thought of uh, Chloe having a background now. Anyways, I'm completely excited, 100%, 10 out of 10 excited for this Life is Strange DLC. So hopefully you guys um, understand, but Life is Strange is an amazing game. And it's never too late to join the hype train and play the games because on PlayStation 4, Life is Strange, every single episode is free right now. It's never too late to join the Life is Strange hype train, but I mean, if you hate on it, then you're probably retarded. You're probably a retarded idiot. But for all the Life is Strange lovers out there, I know you guys are excited for this game, and I can't wait for it to come out. And it's coming out somewhere in August, so be very ready. I do have a few games that I thought that looked really cool and interesting, but they unfortunately they did not make it on my hype list, I guess. So I'll leave um I'll leave it on screen right now of the games that I was sorta of hyped for but not really that hyped for. If you guys want to say the games you're excited for from 2017 E3, then you're more than welcome to. And I will respond to every type of comment that you guys give me. But that was it for this year's E3 hype list. Um, if you guys want to subscribe and you guys want more videos like this, I will be more than happy to make videos like this. Now, I will see you guys later, and thanks for watching. I just messed that up. You know what? I'm going to keep it in. Thanks for watching, guys.
did you actually think that I liked those games? No! I'm clearly excited for... NAC 2, BABY!